Hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the second trailer for Chappie. I love the first trailer. I talked a lot about it and uh, I, I put it on my top 10 most anticipated films of 2015. Oh, plugging that video. Why waste any more time? The deployment of the planet's first robotic police units became the focus of the world in 2016. Your weapons, your your Vincent Moore is a former soldier. The problem with artificial intelligence is it's way too unpredictable. The scout's creator, Dion Wilson, sees a rich future. What interests me is a machine that can think and feel. I have a robot that is operated by a thinking human being. We don't want this. It's expensive, it's big, and it's ugly. The scouts are a huge success. Stop worrying about these pet projects. I think I'm correct. This is a new kind of life for me. A new step in evolution. <laughs> you are chappy. It's like a child. That is the most adorable action hero we are ever going to have. Wow, both trailers offered something different. Like the first one really captured character and heart. You still got that in this trailer, but they were still like, hey, we didn't forget about intensity and badass them going on here, you know? Like, it kind of reminds me um, of iRobot. This film has been reminding me of a lot of things. Robocop, WALL-E. Now it sort of has an iRobot vibe about it, where there's a bunch of different robots, but then they take this one robot and it ends up thinking and feeling. And But Chappie, you know, uh, from my understanding, he's played by Charlotte Copley. Copley, Copley, or whatever. He's fucking awesome. Looks amazing. Like, he, he looks so real. I'm watching the trailer and I'm really believing what's going on. Like, the designs of him are great. The visuals, the performance looks awesome. Like, I love Chappie. That, that's that plain and simple. I want to put my dick in Chappie. That simple. The guy from Slumdog Millionaire, he looks like he has a performance in America that is better than that last Airbender film. It's good that he's getting his due, finally. Dev Patel, I think, is his name. Or that guy from Slumdog Millionaire, as most people call him. I don't know why, but something tells me Dev Patel will die in this film. Because he's that guy who, like, created Chappie and... You know, he's he probably has the closest relationship with him. And something tells me he's gonna like, like there's gonna be an all is lost moment and he's gonna be the thing that is lost at that time. Hugh Jackman looks great. It's cool to see him not playing a Wolverine type of role again. Cause you know, like we get one of those every other year. And whenever he comes out with a role that is not that, you know, Les Mis, Prisoners, he's fantastic. And he finally gets to have his fucking accent. He never gets to use his real voice. I wonder if that'll take away from this movie. I like his haircut too. 
He looks like a dumbass with it. You immediately prefer Chappie over him because his hair just looks silly. But what I like about uh, having Hugh Jackman as like the villain essentially, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. He seems like someone who really does believe he's doing the right thing. Like this is about political point of views and stuff. So he seems like he's just acting off what he knows is right. I know from the audience's perspective, it's probably gonna be more biased for Chappie. But still, I feel like Hugh Jackman's not playing the bad guy. Like he looks like he's giving a full on performance that I really hope does get recognized if it is successful. I mean, Chappie just does all those things that you want a robot who learns how to think and feel do, like draws and watches TV and reads books. Cause it's like, oh, you're doing human things. <laughs> so it's adorable. And Sigourney Weaver, best woman to bring in to play a bitch. Whether or not she is on the good side or the bad side, she tends to be the head of it and is kind of a bitch. <laughs> and she is bitching it up once more. <laughs> I'm so excited for her. The one thing that worried me about this trailer, like District 9 had it perfect, right? Elysium I thought was really good, but I felt there were some things about it that kind of had some studio touches on it a little too much. Because the first trailer for Chappie just seemed like a really wonderful experience. This one's like, oh no, it's gonna be jam packed with action and intensity. I, I hope it's more like the first trailer with like 30% of it being like this trailer, where it is really this, unless if it's a film that just really gradually builds into it, then yeah, I think it'll be a fantastic film. Like at the end of the day, I'm gonna go in with an open mind and just see whatever the director's going for, if it's good or not. From what we're getting from the footage, I'm preferring more along the lines of the first trailer. Still, like the action, I'm not, don't get me wrong, it looks fucking amazing. And Neil Blomkamp knows how to do action really well. What he knows how to do really well, and this is why I'm not that concerned about it, he knows how to do like these great science fiction tales, they're like tales, with incredible character and really meaningful action. And just jaw-dropping visuals. I've never used that, jaw-dropping visuals. That's that's like something an, an asshole says. I am consciousness, how do you do that? I am consciousness, I am life. I need a megaphone. That's the next Bane, <laughs> right there. Chappie's fucking voice. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks for telling me that trailer was out. It's like still one of the films I'm like super jacked to see this year. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe to The Real Rejects where I follow this part up with some type of dumb joke. Shout out. Alfie Earnshaw. Hey Ryan, you are the greatest human to ever exist and everywhere. You should, your step should be known as your step. He meant to put your butt, he's a little illiterate. Your step should be known as Holy Land. And can I get a shout out please? Alfie Earnshaw. You have Earnshawed yourself a shout out by saying these incredible words. I am probably the greatest human to ever exist. It goes Ryan, Gandhi, Jesus, Tom Cruise, And little Ryan, there we go. My penis, my penis. <laughs> Alfie, you're a nice guy. And uh, you take care of little Alfie for all of us. And maybe one day little Alfie and little Ryan will meet. They won't want to shake hands though. Cause I don't do that. Cause I got a girlfriend now and she says no. Even if it's with another guy, it's still cheating. Whatever. Veronica, Tyson Sherburn. Hey Ryan, huge fan of you and your channel. Just like you, I review movies and trailers and I would love if you gave me a shout out. Love your vids, keep it up. Tyrone Sherburn, sure, time to burn you, Tyson. Ha, huh, I already burned you because I called you Tyrone when your name's Tyson. That wasn't a mistake, I intentionally did that. You review movies and trailers and you want a shout out? Oh. Oh, my competition over here wants me to promote him? What do you think this is? Some type of internet world where people collab and help promote each other? No. That's like Eastern 
culture beliefs of kindness and stuff. I don't, I do this the American way and that is competition. Good job on doing your movies and trailer stuff. That's awesome. I mean, we could always use more of that. If you type the category in of movie critic on YouTube, you only get like 569 people. So we could use another one, sure. You kind of look like one of the schmoes no guys. Look, man, I'm gonna give you a few tips to give the ladies, okay? Grow some facial hair and pump up that chest. See, look at this. Uh, uh. I said, uh, uh. Hello? Doing the booby bounce, baby. <laughs> See, Tyson? They like it. Do the booby bounce.